So now that you know about these HTTP request methods, let's try and go into the getting started under Express.js.com, getting started Express basic routing here. So going into basic routing, you'll see that they actually use the exact same names here. So you can do a get to read stuff. You can do a post to post a request or to create something. You can do a put to actually update something and then you can do a delete. So let's try and put this into our code. And what I've done is I've pretty much just taken one of these guys, I copy it, I go into our current code and I just paste it in like this. Now I save everything and uh, I start my server again. Let's see what happened. Restart the server. Doesn't say it's up and running, but I know it is. And now let's try and do a GET request. Everything is still running. Now, how do I do a PUT request from the browser? Without a form, and we'll get back to that later, I cannot try that. I cannot do, actually do a PUT request directly from the browser like this. That's where a postman comes in. But right now, I'll just accept that hopefully this works. And next, we'll try and install and use postman to try and figure these guys out. But notice this. They added something called slash user here. Let's just do that for the rest of them. I'll do slash user here as well. I'll just make an, an extra get here like this. And then I'll make that get to hit slash user as well. And he'll write hitting user API. There we go. I'll save all of this. I'll restart the server. And just as the final thing here, I'll just show you that now, instead of actually hitting slash uh, root, like we're doing now, you can actually also do slash user. So we just added a new path. That's pretty easy to do, right? It's that simple to actually add new paths. Next, let's try and use Postman to do the same thing. See you next time.